Good evening, everyone. T-Speaker 222XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on X-Women Future Digibyte OG. So, guys, I hope you really, really paid attention to those last three videos I put out. One was on XRP, one was on XLM, and one's on a Digi, uh, DGB. I did an update in a way with all three of them. Didn't cover the charts. I basically showed you exactly what all three companies were. I didn't really go into a full detailed look at XRP. I have other plans for that, but I gave you the gist of what you needed to know to help you make an informed decision. Same thing with XLM, and I think I put the single best DGB video out of all times. On YouTube, I, there's no video that's ever touched that kind of information in such a short amount of time. I showed you a different side of me, showing you I don't just need to do the charts. So I take great offense when you guys say I'm just a technical analysis guy. I didn't start this channel with just technical analysis. I put out one of the most powerful videos ever put out with XRP. And I know that because it was my uh, second video I ever uploaded. Even though it was really my first video and it got over 4,000 views. Try to put out a video on YouTube and get 4,000 views on your first or second video. In fact, each of the first three videos I put out all got over 1,000 views. And the one got 2,000 views and the other one got 4,000. But that's because I was talking the news and stuff that I thought was going to happen. And now looking back on it, I understand that was more of a... People could take it as fun because they're like, Oh my God, XRP is going to get to 10,000, I said, or whatever. Or four digits. But just the difference in the amount of views. So what I do here now is, yeah, we take it from a technical analysis standpoint. But I also give you the information when needed. Now I've kind of bounced back and I'm going to do it in my way that I used to. And it, like I said, I, less views is fine because even if the, the quality is better and I'm getting less views because you're looking for more of the FUD, though I don't do FUD and most people that are looking for FUD don't come to my channel. The only people that come to my channel are the ones that want to learn, the ones that are real, and the ones that want to get ahead and want to know what the fuck's going on with each of these coins. Keep in mind... I do show you and keep you up to date with the ISO coins and some of the other ones that have major networks, but I am the XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte OG for a reason. Those are the three coins I believe in the most. And if I had to rank them, and for just me personally, Digibyte, XLM, XRP. No, that's not disrespectful to XRP or XLM or DGB. But for me personally, if there was nothing else I could do, if I had no choice and I could only have one coin, just based on what I know and what I feel in my gut, I would take uh, Digibyte. And if you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, go watch my DGB video I uploaded earlier. There's no reason to ask me any more questions about what DGB is, why I like DGB, or why I put it in such a high regard, even more so than XRP at times. Make no mistake about it, guys, XRP is in my left nut. XLM is in my right nut. Digibyte's in my soul. Digibyte's for humanity. Digibyte wants to make a world a better place. So, it just is what it is. And if you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, that's because only a couple hundred of you watch my DGB piece because it's on DGB. It would really change some minds, and I know it changed a lot. So, just basically what we're going over on the charts, you know, there's not much to cover, in my opinion, you know, we're going to have to watch this very closely, like I've been saying, because if we break a certain level, we're going to crash. But the good news is, when we were down here, we only had 1,700, we came up here and we found a tiny bit of volume, when we came all the way down here... We were only at 1,400. When we were all the way up here, we are at 2,300, which leads me to believe we could make a gain back up to here before collapsing outright. But it's very tricky. DGB's right where we bought it. Basically, we bought it at, what, 553? Five, five, it's at 5513. Five, Something we're not even down. Except for the buy-in or sell-out if you decided to sell. But at this point, there's no reason to sell because we haven't went back down to the resistance at 5-2. If you're going to gamble, guys, you got to be willing to lose a little bit of money before you get out. Otherwise, you can cost yourself the potential gain. Remember last time when we played DGB, I bought it at 5-3. It went down to 5-1 and you guys were all panicking. I'm like, I don't know what you guys are all panicked about. I know my next level at 4-8. So at worst, I'd be in until 4-8. But at that point, 
I'd probably just keep it. It's Digibyte, after all. But then it rebounded, went up to 6-2, and I sold it at around 6, and all was well that ends well. But right now, we gotta watch Bitcoin. You know? So, there's not much more to say. They're all doing this. As you can see, it created that nice W out of here, so... Kind of looks like to me we're not finding the volume even at this level, but we're gonna find out right here because we immediately pushed back over that resist or the support line, and that's supposed to be at thirty cents, as you guys know. I just saw fudged up, but for all intents and purposes, this is supposed to be around there. So it's gonna be interesting because we're not finding volume. We're creating little things in the one minute, but if we go to the five minute, you know, we if we consolidate here, which it looks like we are, or in the 15, looks like we could consolidate, and this is what we're trying to play. Something like if it consolidates, makes that double bounce, and then bounces up, because that's what it kind of looks like it's doing. Inverted left shoulder, the head, bounce up, maybe take a run. It's got to bounce down one more time like it is. Could that possibly be an inverted left shoulder? It, it could. But could it possibly just do one of these and just keep going? How oh yes it could. Because we don't know where we're going. That's why it's a gamble. So. But the good news is we're picking up a little more volume at this level than we were at the very bottom. I mean, at the we were picking up, you know, we said fourteen hundred per minute when we went down to the thirty cent range. We got up to here, and we're about what are we seventeen, eighteen hundred right here, or sixteen, and then we went over here, yeah, fifteen fifty six, fifteen sixty four. Yeah, we're not getting any significant volume to suggest we're going to break through this right away. But that doesn't mean we're not going to have an influx of volume real quick. So what this tells me is we're going to go back up and test that one more time. Possibly. I don't want to guarantee it because this is a very tricky pattern. I'm not a financial advisor. Should you take my advice? No motherfucking way you should. What was that, Bob? Well, uh, you shouldn't take his advice. Why not? Well, uh, right now there's no point. Fair enough, Bob. So, just got to watch this play out. I'll release a video in a little bit. I got to put my son to bed. T Speaker 222 XRP, Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future Digibyte OG. If you want to donate, links in the description. If you want to join Tom's Army, links also in the description. Stay true, stay blessed.